this is an ICU room that, um, you know, if you happen to be critically ill is where you'd be at Northwest Hospital. The noise you're hearing behind the camera is actually what our amazing clinical engineering staff um, transformed these rooms in a matter of days to negative pressure rooms so that if we have patients with COVID-19 pneumonia, um, it can decrease the, um, the infectious risk to staff. This is where you want to be if you've got this disease, because we've got an army of people that were trained to take care of folks with respiratory failure. And I think specifically for COVID-19 pneumonia, um, patients can develop severe uh, viral infection of the lungs, which can then secondarily, secondarily lead to a, a, a huge amount of inflammation in the lungs, uh, which can then clog up the little air sacs called alveoli in the lungs, leading to an inability to oxygenate. And so by far and away, that's the most common reason for a, a patient with severe COVID-19 pneumonia to require a ventilator. Ventilators are machines that we use commonly in the ICU to assist patients who have breathing difficulties. Um, these are either problems where they can't get enough oxygen into their bodies, can't breathe out enough carbon dioxide, or unable to manage the work of breathing due to an acute disease, such as in this case, COVID-19 pneumonia. A respirator is a mask that's used um, commonly uh, by healthcare providers as protective equipment so that we don't inhale the respiratory droplets that our patients may cough on us. A ventilator is a machine used to assist um, with the work of breathing and delivering oxygen to the lungs. Medicine's a team approach, but it's, you know, even more so in the ICU. I mean, we rely on an entire team, our respiratory therapists, our nurses, our pharmacists, our physical therapists to rehab our patients after a critical illness makes them uh, extremely weak. So, I mean, without, without those people, we couldn't do our jobs. It has been harrowing at times. I mean, I think the biggest new thing for me is just getting used to taking care of patients without their families around. Um, we're doing FaceTime and Zoom conferences to, to update families. Um, being mindful that time in a room means risk to me and my other healthcare uh, worker colleagues. We do it for all the right reasons, and you know we've we've had success stories where patients were critically ill, life-threateningly ill on a ventilator and at home, and so that that's why we do that. You know that's why we do all this work. When we extubated the first patient that um, uh, that I took care of that was critically ill on a ventilator. Um, and he took a sip of a Mr. Pib. Uh, he, he drank that soda like it was the last soda on earth. Uh, and I will just never forget his face. <laughs> um, he looked satiated uh, in more ways than just thirst. And uh, yeah, I'll never forget that face.